Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're going to remove this crank, this window crank. You're going to need a special tool to remove this. Keep in mind the position of the crank when we take it off. You can either make a little mark or put a piece of tape there or just remember where it goes. The tool, you're going to go in this side. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky. Got it out. The way the tool works, it slides in, moves up on this clip, and spreads it, and then you can pull it up. We'll remove this washer. There is a Torx screw that's down here in this handle area. I'm going to use a T20 Torx driver and a extension and a ratchet. Pull that torque screw out. We can grab on this handle. Just pull up. If you have trouble pulling up, you can use a trim tool. Just get underneath, pry up on it. I'm going to use a Phillips head screwdriver. There's a screw right in the door, right here. Get that screw out. Next we have door pins all around the perimeter of the door. I'm gonna take some trim tools, get in behind the door. Just twist them. Oh, there's a little trim push pin right there. We have to remove that. Alright, so I'll use a trim tool to remove this push pin. And we can pull out on the door panel. Oh, there's still one locked in. There we go. Then the door panel comes off. There's those little clips that we're holding it on. And then the push pins. We're going to pull away some of this vapor barrier. This has been off before, so it's fairly easy. If you have to, you can use a razor blade to help take it off. Just pull it out of our way. To get this window regulator out, First, I'm going to put the crank back on because I don't want to lower the window a little bit. I want to be at, able to access these two 10 millimeter bolts. Before I loosen up the bolts for the window, I am going to take some tape and just place it over here so that I can tape the window once I get it up. Just tape it over here. have a couple pieces available for you. So it's easier to tape up. Right, now I'm going to remove these 10 millimeter bolts. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket, an extension, and a ratchet. Oops. Before I take these bolts out completely, I'm going to grab the window so it doesn't fall. Pull the 
arrows out. I'm going to raise the window up. I can just push on my tape. That'll hold it for a little bit. Just grab some more tape quickly and tape it up some more. If you have thicker masking tape, generally three pieces will do it. This is thinner masking tape, so just use it a little extra. And that should hold it fine. And I'll pull this window crank back off. If you locked it on, then you can use the tool again to get it off. And I'll use my 10 millimeter socket extension and a ratchet. Take these four bolts out. This one doesn't have to come out completely. There's a slot in that one. So. And I can take the regulator, lift up, I can pull it out, slide it out this way, pull it up. All right, with that bolt still in there, I can slide this in this way. And slide the bolt through that slot. Take the other three bolts, get those started. We can take our ratchet and snug it up by hand. Just snug. Now before we lower the window, you want to make sure this piece is somewhat straight. You don't want it like up and down or anything. Have it kind of flat. And carefully, we can pull our tape off. Once you get most of it off, you can hold the window in the back like this. And carefully grab your hand under the window, and slide the window into position. That lined up there. Take this bolt, get that started. Get the other bolt started. up a little bit. Yeah. Once you get about two or three turns, then you can remove your hand from the window. And I'll take a ratchet and snug these up. operation in the window. It goes up and down. All right, so when I put my handle on this time, it got stuck on there, so I'm going to have to use the tool. Just slide right here. 
push it on. It's going to push the clip out. And slip it off. So this, our, uh, our butyl tape isn't sticking too well. So we're going to install some new butyl tape. Just going to take some of this, stretch it out a little bit. You could actually use tape if you wanted to. You could use some duct tape if you didn't have access to, to butyl tape. this right to it, Just push it on, just like that. And then we can go around and do the rest. So some of these door push pins came out when we pulled the door panel off. I'm going to use this push pin removal tool. We sell these at 1aauto.com. Just slide it over and squeeze and pop it out. Do the same with this one. Just like that. All right, so on the door panel, I'll take these push clips and reinstall them. Slide it on like that. Slide this one right here. You can reinstall this door panel. Slide it in. There's a little tab right here that's going into this square slot right there. Line that up. Slide that down. And get all the push pins lined up. Then you can take and just push the door panel on. Just like that. So we'll install this push pin right there. Lock it in place. We'll install this washer for where the window crank goes. And then for the window crank, you wanna make sure that this retainer is in this position. If it's pushed out a little bit, you're gonna push it back on. Bring it over here, line it up in the location where it was before, lock it in place. Take this Phillips head screw, install this right here. Snug that down. Next, we'll take this handle part, line it up, push it down, lock it in place. Then we'll take our Torx screw and our T20 and our extension and ratchet and snug this up. And just snug that up. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.